Today I'm going to show you how to sew a super easy baby bunny teether ring. You can make this in under 10 minutes probably. This is what it looks like when it's all done. I just use cotton fabric on the front and some kind of absorbent fabric like terry, minky, flannel, something along those lines on the back so that it uh, does absorb the drool, the baby drool a little bit. And the link in the description box down below will take you to the pattern pieces for this. And I'll also tell you where you can get these natural wood teether rings. The first thing you're going to do is gather your supplies. There's only three. You have your wood, your natural wood teether ring circle. It's about two and a half inch by two and a half inch. And you're also going to cut one pattern piece onto your fabric. The link is in the description box for that. And then you're going to cut your backing fabric just a little bit longer and wider than your actual pattern piece cut out. You're going to lay them together with the right sides together and go ahead and pin or clip them in place. I'm starting to pin or clip them here because you're not gonna sew in between those two clips at the bottom. You're going to leave that open so that you can flip it right side out once you're finished sewing. Now I'm going to start at that first clip and sew all the way around my fabric on top of my backing using about a 1 4 inch seam allowance. Here's what it looks like when you're finished. You can see there's the whole opening at the bottom and I stitched quite close using a 1 4 inch seam allowance and now I'm going to cut it out. Now, even though you cut it out, you don't wanna to cut too much from that opening. So that way, when you flip it right side out, you're able to hide that fabric and that whole opening. The next thing we're going to do is clip little notches up to your stitches, making sure not to go through your stitches and clipping off any corners at the top and the bottom. Anytime you sew curves, you wanna do that so that your fabric lays nicely once it's flipped right side out. And that's what we're doing right here. Just go through that opening and flip your fabric right side out. And then you're going to use a tool or your finger, a pencil, whatever you have on hand. I love using a chopstick to poke out all of your seams and to press out all of your corners. After you do that, I would suggest going ahead and ironing it flat so that it's nice and crisp. And then you're gonna to go to the opening at the bottom put your two index fingers into the opening and pull, and it should automatically push your fabric inwards so that it lays flush with the rest of the outside seams. Pin or clip that in place if you need to, but now you're going to take this to your sewing machine and top stitch all the way around your entire fabric. Here's what it looks like once you finish sewing. You can see here I tried to stay as close to the side as possible. And the only thing that you have left now is to add your bunny ears to your teeter ring. So you're going to fold your fabric in half, matching up the bottom and the top, and then you're going to place it sideways through your teeter ring. Now you're going to grab your bunny ears that are wrong sides together and push them through the hole just like you see here and then just pull the fabric. Now you wanna adjust your bunny ears so that they lay exactly how you want them before you pull that fabric too tightly. And once you have them looking how you want them to look, go ahead and pull it as tight as you can so that it stays nice and firm on your natural wood ring. If you wanna add some extra flair, you can add some crinkle fabric to the middle layers before you start sewing, so that way it's crinkly noise toy. Um, but this is a perfect gift, and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.